Welcome along to this Excel video. You can see on your screens now uh, the finished product. This is what we will be creating today. There will be a table that has a bunch of different data in it and we want to be able to produce a chart that contains a whole lot of info and is completely customizable so I can pick and choose variables that I might want to see on a chart. All right so what I'm going to do go across to the page that I've started setting up we will have um, a quick look at the data there is dates in column in row three a body weight viral infections basically means that an athlete reports that they have a cough or a sore throat or a runny nose then there are five rows of data fatigue sleep quality muscle soreness mood and performance that um, athletes are, are subjectively rating themselves every morning on. Now I don't want to show all of the values on the graph so the first thing that I have done is simply create a little bit of data validation so I'll just get rid of it and start again for you so if I click data validation and list from my source I want to be able to pick these values. Just going to edit that a little bit because um, some of those cells will merge. The next cell doesn't like that too much. All right, and if I copy that down, I should be able to now pick three of the five wellness variables and start working with them. So I want to use a separate little area for my graph data rather than this table. So I'm going to create um, just some VLOOKUP formulas and I've done one already. I'll delete that and start again. I want to look up fatigue. In this table, I'm just going to lock that down. And I'm going to put a lock on the B so that I can drag it to the right. Now, column index, I could write four in there and it false. And if I then drag that down, what we'd find is that it pulls those three numbers in. But unfortunately, that is a bit of a painful way to do it because I then have to increment the cells manually each time. So instead of doing that, I want to use the columns function and if I click here and I click here what Excel will do is it will count the number of columns between B and E and if I lock B down when I drag across E will increment B will stay the same and this columns number if I just select within the formula and hit F9, it'll evaluate to 4. Hit Control Z, it goes back to the formula itself. So if I drag that down, it should stay the same. And if I pull this all the way across to the right, let's just have a quick audit. It looks like it's done that correctly. So I've now got the ability to draw a graph from that data. Yep, everything's working as it should. Okay, the next thing I want to be able to do, actually, why don't I just start putting a graph in place? It's always good to make a little bit of progress on these projects so that uh, you can see how things are progressing and, and make changes as you go. All right, so I'm just going to right click and put select data. I need to put some labels in there. And of course, I want to use the dates. So that's good. Series one, I need to give it a, a bit of a title. So I just want to click on that cell. Series two. And series three. Okay, let's see if I did in fact 
line those up correctly. Yes, I did. All right, so if I change these values, great, it all works fine. Just going to format these series a little bit. I am a smooth line type of guy. Line. All right, so what I want to do now is add on another series. So I'm going to add on the body weight series, select data, add. Series name. I'm just going to type it. And then select across the top there. Now unfortunately that obviously um, sits on a on a dramatically different scale to our wellness variables. We're trying a one to five scale. So um, the best way to, to cope with that is to put this on a secondary axis and from the other chart if we're trying to replicate that you want to change the series chart type from what it is now which is a line to a column all right so it's starting to look a little bit better not too happy with the colors to be honest but uh, we can change them as we go Another thing I just want to do actually is um, thin those lines up a bit. They don't need to be so big. And all right, so it's starting to look a little bit better. Actually, might even make them just a little bit lighter again. Perfect. Okay, so we've now got body weight and we've got our three performance measures on there. Now there's just one more uh, tricky little thing that I like uh, that I've been using lately. And I'm just going to mark it up here. I'm just going to call it viral equals if. There is some text in the cell then I want to return 0 0.5 and if there's not I want you to put an NA if I just drag that across what we'll see is that anytime there was a viral marker be it a sore throat, a cough or whatever it puts 0 0.5 and any time it's blank it puts NA. Now what's significant about NA, if you've watched some of my previous videos you'll know NAs do not chart. So what I want to do is select the data, add a new series, I want to call it viral, I want to select across there I want to make sure that it understands that it's part of that set and I'm going to go OK. Now what I want to make sure of is that it sticks out so I'm simply going to change it to XY Now if I can just select it, sometimes they get a bit tricky, so I usually just find myself selecting one of the easier ones and tabbing my way across the different series. So I'm going to go no line. I'm going to pick uh, a marker option which sticks out, so something like a square. 
and I'm going to fill it with, I think we used purple previously, and I'm going to make it reasonable size, something like uh, 15, why not? Okay, so we're getting close. I want to get rid of, not completely, but as lightly as possible, those grid lines. I would like to make my colors a bit, excuse me, make my colors a bit bolder. Uh, line color, solid line, black. Line color, solid line. Um, blue line color solid line red I'll just put some labels on there one decimal place is okay I think uh, Nice small little font is good if your eyes are up to it. Don't make it too light, but there we go. So it's sort of hidden in the background now, but you can still see that trend and body weight. And so we've got our viral markers. And so that looks okay. What I just want to do here is put our different options on top of the graph. So that people can easily select them. The color always helps with that. And one more thing that I'll do is I'm just going to lift this whole lot up so you can't even see all the workings underneath. Take away the grid lines and there we are. We've got a bit of a wellness chart with the ability to pick Whatever variables you want, body weights on there, and the little purple dot indicates the viral marker. So, typically, how I create my uh, different systems is that I might have two or three different options for the grey vertical bars. So, instead of just body weight, I might have uh, training load as measured by RPE times duration, for example, or some heart rate uh, results, or some GPS data, or something like that. And then the wellness on top, and the viral marker is always present, just as a as some kind of icon or indicator at the bottom of the screen there. So, um, something to play with, something to have a look at. Please drop me a line if you have any questions. Thanks.